biorates for proteins this is a biorate reagent this is prepared uh, using 3 gram copper sulfate and 9 gram sodium potassium tartrate dissolved in 100 ml of 0.2 normal NaOH to which added 5 gram of potassium iodide and made up to 1000 ml using 0.2 normal NaOH now we have taken 1% protein and 1% amino acid also protein uh, obviously uh, gives a positive biorate test while amino acid is taken as a negative control amino acid uh, uh, do not give a positive biorate test now tubes are kept ready to the first test tube we are adding uh, protein approximately 2 ml and to the second test tube we are adding uh, amino acid approximately 2 ml and to both these test tubes 2 ml each of biorate reagent are added the tubes are uh, shaken well and these tubes can be kept at room temperature for 10 minutes or alternately we can use uh, uh, water bath uh, which is kept at 37 degrees Celsius now uh, the tubes can be kept for 5 minutes at 37 degrees Celsius or 10 minutes at room temperature now after 5 minutes at 37 you can see a purple color uh, developed in the tube in which uh, protein was taken and there is no color development in uh, uh, the test tube in which amino acid was taken so protein only gives the biorate positive reaction amino acid gives a negative biorate response uh, the biorate positive test is given by answered by protein and it is not answered by amino acids actually uh, the copper in uh, biorate reagent that is copper sulfate uh, the copper present in copper sulfate in biorate uh, reagent reacts with the peptide bond and a, a, a complex is formed which gives the purple color to the uh, biorate solution. Now, amino acid is not having peptide bond, so amino acids do not answer biorate test. Proteins answer biorate test. Thank you very much.